right, now that I've got you all warmed up, here we are at Emporia State, home to these revenge-hungry hornets who want to beat the Broncos so bad they can taste it. But don't they know about our defense and Big Daddy Claude Davis abusing the offensive line for his first sack of the day? Get him up, Claude, then the offense takes over, and here comes Reggie Donner. He cuts hard right, gaining five or six, and a nice second effort there. Then Manning says, let's get this thing airborne, and he does so by connecting with Todd Barnes on a 10-yard out. Barnes stepping on the first down marker, so a new series for the Broncos, and that's where Reggie Donner freaks out. Donner making fools miss left and right, finding daylight up the middle, good for a Bronco first down. Manning barks out the cadence, then more Reggie action. This time he takes five or six around the left side. That's good for another Bronco first down. First and goal for the Broncos, that's what the ref says. And that's bad news for the Hornets because a few plays later, Donner caps off the drive with a three-yard touchdown run. Broncos up by a touch, and the girls love that. Go Broncos! But the Hornets have a talented QB in number 10, Joe Jacobs, who gets things moving offensively, quick pass to the left, and then he fires to the right, completing balls left and right, using his accurate arm to do so. Then he shows us his legs. Jacobs can scramble, folks. This up the middle and plenty of Bronco traffic. Good for a Hornet first down. Then Jacobs goes back to the air and finds number five, Lester McCoy in the end zone. Hornets right back in this thing. The home crowd loves it, but that flag, ours is much bigger than that antenna topper. Anyway, back to football, and can you say spin move? Because Reggie Donner can. Spinning from a would-be tackler? <laughs> that guy must feel like an idiot. Another first down, Broncos. That's when disaster strikes. Manning looking to the flats is picked off by number seven, Dante McCoy. You can see nothing but the end zone and six points for the Hornets who have a little tea party in the end zone. Bell Davis and the D get some more time to rest because the offense goes back to work. And from underneath center, Manning gives to Justin Matthews, who finds some space to the right side and then finds a first down for the Broncos. We have a triple threat in the backfield because this is number 36, Greg Briley. And that is a huge play. Briley breaks into the clear and down the stretch he comes. Briley takes it deep into the red zone. And now it's time for the Gerard Clemens Show. Well, keep your eye on Hornet player number two. <laughs> Let's see that again. Oh, Gerard, you just got punk. Donner's touchdown making all the ladies dance, even if they still count their age in months. Now looking at some Bronco D here, the D-line forms the Iron Curtain. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six Broncos standing the Hornet number 40 Griffin back to where he came from. So the Hornets settle for a field goal, number 33, splitting the uprights. So the Hornets still hanging in this one. And then they kick off the number eight, Alton Lusk, who is known for his quickness and speed. He gets some blocks and gets his nice run back up the field on a nice return, and the offense goes to work again. This time, Donner using the left side of the field and his blinding speed to pick up 12 yards and another first down. Watch that face mask, 2-1. And that sets up touchdown number three for Donner. And Reggie likes me so much, he came up just to say hi. Hey, Reggie, what's up, man? Donner, third touchdown of the day, but he's not done yet. The Broncos are going for two. The give goes to Donner, who leaps into the zone. Let's watch this. Donner, around the left side. Nothing can stop this man. Mission control, ready for takeoff. Donner, getting it done any way he can. Hey, a bunch of people are stealing our flag. Oh, the crowd is just going wild, and for a good reason, because the Broncos take it to the air. Manny. Finds his touch and hits Tyler Griffin out of the backfield. A huge spark for the Broncos and a nice job by Griffin. But then a scary moment for the Broncos because Donner goes down and he is slow to get up as he clutches his hamstring. Donner did leave the field on his own power, however. I think he has a strained hamstring. He should be back this week. So the Broncos look to number eight, Alton Lusk, on a sweet reverse around the right side. That's good for six points and some breathing room for the Broncos. But head coach Gary Howard telling his men not to relax yet because Joe Jacobs and the Hornets might come back with a play like this. Joe Jacobs lets one fly and a huge connection to number 14, Jeb Clemens. The catch is cooler than your name, Jeb, so don't get that excited. Now I ask who rubbed Vaseline on the football, because check out this play. Jacobs under center and the Hornets fumble to Big Claude Davis, who's up and running, but then he fumbles, and then it seems no one can get their hands on this. Check this out. After it's all said and done, the Hornets recover and it's first down at Foya State looking to score. Jacobs under center, he drops back and floats one to number five, Lester McCoy. The Hornets are now within five points. So the Hornet defense has to get tough and they do. The Broncos could not get anything started. They went four and out and had to punt to the Hornets. So the comeback stage is set and Joe Jacobs is a believer. Scrambling and feeling the pressure, Jacobs finds Lester McCoy once again this time good for a first down. 
Then Jacobs rolls right and finds guess who? Number five, Lester McCoy. Another nice completion and the Hornets are driving. Then guess what happens now? Jacobs to the right, again finding number five, Lester McCoy in the flats. If the Hornets score, they will win the game, so the pressure is on the Bronco defense and the crowd is on fire. Jacobs rolls left, looking deep. He looks, he looks, he lets it fly. Johnny Jones soars up in the air and snags the interception and the victory for the Broncos. Johnny led the nation in interceptions last season and had two on Saturday. What a play, the final score, Broncos 28, the Hornets 25. Let's go to Johnny Jones after the game. <laughs> first one, you know, that first one was a big one for me because all game I was trying to be patient and I was giving up a little to under routes and it was getting me kind of getting to my confidence. Maybe I didn't, I didn't think I was there yet, you know. So it was as far as confidence-wise, it's helping me. I don't know if I'm going to leave the nation again or not, but it was a great game. So the Broncos start out undefeated, and the UCO player of the game goes to tailback Reggie Donna. Donna had three touchdowns and a two-point conversion and helped the Bronco backfield to 271 total yards rushing. Donna did have a minor hamstring injury, but hopefully not too serious. Bronco action for this week is at Angelo State at home. That's at Wantland Stadium. Game time is...